How are you today, everybody? We are doing Xenoclash 2. Uh, I have not played the first Xenoclash, so I contacted the developer. Um, who is nice enough, by the way, I should say. First of all, I gotta turn the audio down. Right? Now, uh, I'm told that, uh, we had, now hold on, got to escaping from his crime against Father Mother, ran away to the very end of the world, there he met Gollum. Uh, I'll fill you in on this stuff, by the way. Persuaded by Gollum to return home to the anarchy of the city of Halstrom, ha Halstenum, Gat came back from exile to confront his family. Gat's return brought an abrupt end to Father Mother's family, dissolving his own ties with his brothers and sisters, and now oh, I didn't read that fast enough. Uh, now what caught my about doing this game was the crazy visuals that remind me a lot of almost a... I want to say the Dark Crystal mixed with uh, the Orient, and I thought it was very cool looking. Um, uh, you'll see what I mean here. There's almost this crazy mix of Asian uh, backstory and, and mythos mixed in with a world that I think Gary uh, is going to want to probably do part two of the Let's Play for this. This may be one of our first series. Um, we have another one too on our list right now that we've been talking about throwing the idea out around here. We're doing a series of that guy was maybe like Chris where did you find the gun? Or now, and I mean that what did you do for him? Most, and uh, polite what ways can he do? I was a huge fan of Rohan audio me when I'm and sound to you. So. That's pretty cool. I don't care yes. what the golem can do. And I sure didn't do anything for him. No, we're turning Rohan. the sass up. I know what the golem the can up. do. It can put your father and mother in a cage. Didn't you like that? I'm gonna turn so what else across. can the golem do? Why don't you go to the end of the world and find a golem yourself? I gave you that black eye, didn't I? Well, if you're trying to pick a fight again, you'll get me. Ah, you oh, my <laughs> guy's sassy. I like him already. It Whenever you feel like getting your jaw broken, you gotta be kidding me, son. You ain't breaking my jaw. Oh, see, already we got the we got the fight meter going. Now, before I do this, let me first of all say I was pleasantly surprised when I wrote the developer for this game that within like literally a matter of like an hour or two, the guy was nice enough to write back. Um, so here is what it is uh, to catch us up to speed for this game. The protagonist of the first game, Gat, that is that guy that we just saw there. That is me. Ran away from home and reached the end of the world where he met a powerful being who calls himself Gollum. Gat was fleeing his home because he had discovered that his hermaphrodite father mother, also the name of this character, was not really who he claimed and not the real parent. Gollum convinced Gat to return home to confront father mother. Um, Xenoclash 1 ends in that final confrontation. Xenoclash 2, which is what we're playing here, starts shortly after that happened. So now we are caught up to speed. Um, the story will make more sense to me and you both. And I'm sorry, guys, I don't, uh, we don't own a copy of Xenoclash 1, but I tell you what, from the look of this already, uh, I think we're gonna have to. Uh, that's gonna be one we pick up, I think, because... So that's left and right mouse button, that is pretty easy. It says target box, so I'll slot down there. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's cool. That's fight night, baby, right there. I'm gonna try and hit him in the old, the old, uh... Gabaladoo, the old kiss him or puss, the old uh, jaw second. Oh look, he's all sorts of messed up. Oh, I just did some cool stuff here. Oh, I power drive him. <laughs> that alone, awesome. I have never seen another like fighting game like that where you can just literally yank somebody up off the ground like a wet noodle and power drive him. That was friggin' awesome. And I just did a little Hadouken. He is out for the count, fellas. And there's his friend, 
who looks uh, surprisingly like somebody you'd see in like he's like the guy that's 60 and still thinks he's in a boy band. You know, you know what I'm saying? God, how many of these thugs are there? There's a lot of them, aren't there? Oh, look at that! Like that slow motion thing there. That was Michael Bay. Oh, he's he's dazed. We gotta give him the old the old Swanson uppercut. The old Ron Swanson, I call it. That guy looks like he's already got his ass kicked. I don't think we gotta do anything to him. Oh, apparently we do. So just punch me, so it's on now. Well, oh, I ring your bell. Literally, I ring your bell. Oh, are you up again? This guy's clearly got some fetish decoration going on here, guys. That's a... Uh... Fella, we're trying to make a family-friendly let's play. Let's, let's not be wearing all this crap around me. I'm gonna punish him for that, people. We don't... Oh, look at that! He turned up the sass himself there. You see the... Oh, did you see that? Just taunted me with the little alley you punched there. Wound his little... What would you say? His paw back? Wound his paw back. That's right. I don't like the look at... Did you... This guy is just asking for it. Did you not get enough last time? Your face is clearly... You fight a lot. I feel like this is that dude that everybody knows at a party who's like, Come on, you're gonna get it! And like, he's already got it, you know what I'm saying? Man, I did some damage in here. <laughs> Look at I beat him so bad, he literally fused his molecules with the table. He is molecularly combined now with that object. That cheese actually looks fairly good. I, uh, might be imaginary, but I have my own likes and dislikes for cheese. Um, anyways, we're definitely, uh, I'm into this event. This is kind of cool looking. I don't know if that's stuffed or if that's real, but I, this is a crazily, uh, crazily, that's not even a term. We're using it, who cares? Crazy looking world. That guy has clearly been to a party or two. Um, yeah, I do feel a definite Asian influence here, but I think that the father mother, I could swear, reminds me of that something I heard ages ago. Uh, from a buddy of mine who was from like, Korea, where he discussed, he, uh, growing up, he used to discuss quite a bit of that stuff. Uh, and I know if you're like, oh, you're breaking character, look, enjoy the Let's Plays, don't think too much about who I am as an imaginary person, and you have a better time, yeah? We're here for fun, guys. Let's not, uh, let's not overthink all this. I want to know some real facts here. Let me break forth. Let me break the fourth wall for a moment. Uh, what inspired us to make this channel? Um, we wanted to do something that we hadn't seen really. Uh, and even though you haven't seen it yet, there will definitely be a story time coming up, which will be its own series of videos, separate from our Let's Play. Same channel, because we want to be kind of a variety channel. While we will maintain Let's Plays as our mainstay, we will also be doing board game let's plays and a few other things um so i think that's important to note oh they're talking i don't want to talk over this cat gat you're in bad shape you gotta go fight you should win if you like that don't you well, those you animals really aren't imaginary you, i should say that what's this about it's about punching people in the face so you'll like it i will like it yes, i it need seems to know you if you're going to help me get father mother out of the jail so why, uh... I'm not gonna ask for your help. Either you help me, or you don't. Brother and all, I still think you're a prick. But I'm the She's only away with one words, here. Aren't she? Yeah, you're the only real brother I have left. You mean you asked Golem about your real family and... No. Anyone who puts father and mother in a cage doesn't know Tef about my real family. I think I'm going to say you're my only real brother because out of all, you're the only one who didn't ask Gollum either. Come on, I know where they're keeping father mother. I feel like I've heard that voice before in something that uh, I want to say a Bethesda game. That voice actress is well known to have been in other games. I'm guessing. If not, she sounds like one of the ones that worked in one of the Bethesda games. So I don't know. I'm guessing he's the law. He looks like he should be making me shoes or something. Um, I'll tell you what I like though so far, guys. This is... The colors are interesting. I feel like this is a mix of, like, organic... 
because not one set period in time this looks like this is sort of wound back down to. I dig the very creative looking characters here. This is really cool. I mean, oh, he's got a conductor. This girl, what an insult. Can't we solve our own problems anymore? How are we supposed to call them forces now? Welcome to Pelicans, Bill. I'm not Bill. calling them forces, but you can help me. I'll give you a good weapon if you can help me. You know, Orsi, that sadistic little deaf. Look at what he did to me. If you find him, break a couple of his bones. Then I'll be happy, and I'll give you a weapon for your troubles. Well, I'm barehanded. It's a buck meal out here, so what do you say we look for this horsey? Uh, no, I'm gonna, I don't know what we're doing exactly. So we're gonna hit this. Uh, let's try and hit. Am I the only one who does that? When they game, they hit, uh... Okay, so that's a block button. It's, and what, here's one detail I dig. If you look there on his right arm, you'll see a hand shield. See it? It's when he blocks. He really blocks. Um, it looks like it's made from some sort of turtle shell. Oh my god, that pig is adorable. Uh, I love meat, but I think pigs are adorable, which makes it paradoxical in and of itself, but I didn't invent me, so I'm allowed to be a paradoxical when it is a dink. I hit E in the butterfly and I took it. I don't know what it does, but we now have one butterfly more than we had earlier. So, no us. Uh, I can tell the developers put a lot of work into this game, though, and I like that. Now, let me tell you how you can tell. Look around, man. That's how you can tell. First of all, the level of detail and the gorgeous... Um, thank God, I don't even know what to call it. The, oh, look at that. I got a little... I touch this thing here and I got to level up. Um, but you can see how they've mixed different cultures, and I want to say almost like the, the, um, someone's gonna kill me. Oh, ooh, my weapons, these must be my, like, item slots when I hold things, so that's good. I hit one to do that. Um, uh, actually, let's look this up real quick. I, I apologize, guys. I know you're probably like, you know, why didn't you do this before, yeah, Because, let me tell you why, because I believe in being, uh, straightforward with you guys about this stuff. Uh, we, uh, the person who normally helps me decide what games we're going to do and all that, uh, I don't need a lot of help with that actually. Break fourth wall for the second time in this video, and we are, because why not? Uh, we wanted to do this whole channel and this sort of thing, and it's left, but I got distracted here while we were playing this. Because we wanted something a little different than what we always see. Hence this mask, this persona, the puppets, everything. We hope you guys enjoy it, man. We want to do something different. Um, but I can only be as good as my audience, so definitely do not hesitate to write on our videos, even if you think they suck. If I don't know why they suck, I can't improve it, and I cannot. If you think they suck, tell me why they suck. Write down, hey, you suck. And I'll be like, what? You can be like, no, really, this sucks. And I'll be like, well, that's crummy of you. Oh, okay, there we go. So we hit we got a little map there. Uh, Remat, we got one moth. I'm guessing that's like money. Uh, I beat up Horsey. There's a little arrow there, so I'm guessing that is Horsey. So we're gonna go kick some Horsey ass and win here once. Leadership, strength, stamina, help. You're gonna do a lot of fighting in this game, so I feel like these three first would be good to have, but I don't know. Leadership is important. Uh, I can get better allies with that, so that's good. Um, what do you guys think? What should we do first? Eh? I feel like it's not going to always be that easy to fight. Um, most boxers rely on stamina. More than people give them credit for. Um, you can hit hard, but if you hit hard and then you keep flopping over, you ain't doing much damage. Okay, now he's just cool looking. I like the little bag that guy. We will call him Joey. His name is Joey now. Oh, son, I gotta check with your name. Look at how sketchy he <laughs> Look at how sketchy he just eyeballed me like, what are you What are you looking at? He knows I'm looking for him. Look at him. He's like, what? Me? No, you don't want me. Yes, I do, because you were a jerk. 
Yeah, Orsi. Let's do this, son. I'm gonna get a weapon for you. A weapon. Oh, I am so... Gonna Mike Tyson you all over the place, you're not even gonna know. Mike Tyson, if you're watching this... Uh... Your early career, man, you get some monster dodges. Seriously. If you don't know who Mike Tyson is, guys... Probably... And people can argue it and see what they want, but I'm gonna tell you now. Watch that man dodge punches and you'll see what I'm saying. Some of the scariest and best work I've ever seen when it comes to that stuff. Now we go back here. I like I like how they've done this game. The blurring throws me off a little bit. But uh, this feels very story rich. This game does. The backstory here is uh, one that seems a little confusing at first, but I know I'll get it. The father mother thing, I don't get all that. That's <laughs> not what he deserved. I didn't want to call them forces or something. They're all cowards anyway. But what I'm really loving about yeah, this here is. I was telling you about. It's a chain. I know it doesn't look like. Much, I feel like we just got kind of. Don't underestimate how useful it can be. I'm not. In a land where butterflies are weapons, I'm not gonna. Oh, look at that. I'm like, uh. I'm all, uh, I'm all Mike tyson -y up in here. Alright. I feel like I could just walk around and punch everybody, and I don't think you're supposed to, so let's not be a total jerk. And, uh, let's set where we're supposed to, shall we? That's just less way, it's gonna be me staring at the scenery, but I could. It's, it's very, um... Uh, man. I'm really digging the scenery here, this, uh... I mean, quite honestly, this is a very good fantasy, non- I can't really call it anything else, this is its own thing. The more you get into it, the more it has obvious influences, but what I'm really digging about this game world is that you can tell the developer really wanted to make this his own rich story, and I feel like these people probably do their own thing. Even this little sketchy dude. I think he's a pickpocket. I've seen some people around Detroit that look like this guy. I think he's a pickpocket, guys. What do you think? Is he a pickpocket? Is he a thief? What do you think he does? Comment below. What should we call him? Uh, that's another question. Uh, what about Fred? I'm calling him Fred. I need a better name, guys. So help me out. The door is locked. But I'm pretty sure I saw one of the jail people. <laughs> she is a horrible game. enabler. We should steal his keys. See? It's just sketchy. It's all get out. First, she's like, oh, you're gonna go punch people for me because you're my brother. Now she's literally like, oh, just steal stuff from the guards. They're not gonna know. Yeah. What kind of family is this? And I feel like he's sketchy too. You know he's sketchy. If this dude's tough enough to just hang out on a street corner and do his own thing there, and uh, I don't know if those are moves or if I'm wrong, and he is a female. So if you are a female, I'm terribly sorry, man. I did not know. All I know for sure is you're really cool looking. You're like a mix of a lizard and mouse. Um, but that's what I mean. I dig it things that aren't afraid to be different, obviously, you see our channel, and kind of adds something new to the mix, and this is clearly its own thing, it doesn't, I don't feel like I've seen this before. Uh, in some film here and there, I've seen obvious influences of it, and I don't need to go to all, through the trouble of all of them, you know, as well as I do. Um, I like the fast travel system here. You block an attack, you lose some stamina. Stamina is necessary to perform most special attacks. Now, there is a tutorial for this, which I really appreciate it. Uh-oh. We're going to shush for a moment. I don't want to... Um, somebody brought it up to me when I asked some things they liked about our videos. And did, you know, what they... If there's anything they would prefer to see more or less of. Um, so I got, like, a gun. Got a gun. You can see up there on the left. Oh, you probably can't see. My head's blocking out a bit. But up on the left there is actually a little bullet meter that shows. Uh, you want to see it better? Get the game, guys. Uh, 
one thing that they mentioned is that they liked that we did not talk through all of our videos. And that is something that I myself can't stand when people do. So I do have... I definitely understand that one. I do. So what is this thing? Alright, so that's... Man, our chain weapon is pretty cool. I was a little, uh, I wasn't liking it at first, but the more I think about it, I hope I can climb with it. And this guy here looks like somebody I want to, uh, I feel like this is a dude in high school that everybody knows. And, uh, he's always that guy that's just working on that story he never finishes. It's fan fiction of some sort, and you're like, uh, what, well, what are you writing today? Oh, well, you'll see what it's done. And you're like, okay. Yes, I just did Gary's voice, because I, why not? He does mine, technically. I'm the imaginary one. Um. Got Remat. I'm glad to see you. So she's Remat. We're trying remote. to find all brothers and sisters. We need. I know you're going to get Father Mother out of jail, and I'm one step ahead of you. I've got a key to enter the jail, but you can have it. I'm not going with you. Golem told me where I can find. I have my own father and mother to look for now. We need your help. Why are they so important now? Father Mother can wait. <laughs> also, Golem wouldn't tell me. But don't you wonder if we are brothers? Stolen from the same people. We have no beak, claws, or fur. Same hair color. Huh. Father Mother's children are my people. Why am I the only one not confused about it? Because you probably played the first game. I have not yet, lady. Oh, see? Not have enough leadership skill to add out. No, oh, that's a shame. I'm not going with you. Father, mother can wait. We're gonna come back for you to recruit hey, you when I can. Before going to the jail, you should get some skull bombs and weapons. I know no one is protecting our stash in the plaza, so maybe you should get it before anyone else does. Good looking out, buddy. Apparently, everybody's a big old crook in this world, eh? Whatever, I'm cool with that. If it helps our flight, it helps. I, I wish I could just, like, put them on my shoulders. I don't have a reason, I just think they're adorable. It's that movie Babe, man. Messed me all up, I'm telling you. You saw that once, and after that, pigs are always cute now. Alright, so I need to go back. We got a tip, though, and that prison guard isn't helping. Uh, his people, so he's helping us. So we're on to something, guys. We're on to something. This one's gonna stay in stowed, and this is probably gonna be one of the two series of Let's Plays that we do. More than one entry on here. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you'd like us to continue this one. Because I definitely think Gary's gonna want to try this. He's gonna get a little nostalgia. He is a puppet, and lands like this are usually home to wandering puppets. Um, if you did not know what Gary is, he is a type of frog. He is from the swamps. Um, I'll let him answer any questions you have. He feels a little weird that I'm the imaginary one. I don't want to keep you know, explaining things for him. Now, I feel like this is a side quest. I see these little areas here. I feel like these are side quests. The family plaza. Right. I got all my weird people with me. Why are you following? Oh, I saw you in the bar. Are you gonna really, son? Really? You wanna go there and make it personal, do you? It's like I'm, his name is Fatface. Oh, I just knocked you upside the head. I kicked him. I kicked him. Uh, that's worth the price of a mission alone, fellas. Who else is? Didn't I just whoop you in the bar earlier? You're a grown pig monster? Oh, it's on now, baby. It's on. You like that? Little... Do a little roly-poly with your head. I think he's actually beating me, so I don't mind trash talking. Oh god, that... That definitely had to hurt. This dude hits really hard, man. Oh, that's right, you can block. I forgot about that. Come on. Oh, he did a little combo there. He thinks he's fancy now, does he? It's how fancy he thinks this is. Oh, my stamina must be getting low. Also, why are these guys attacking me again? I feel like that's kind of like, uh, that's cheap. But, come on, baby. Let's do your thing. 
Oh, look at that! I'm like Indiana freaking Jones over here. Yeah, I just got Brooklyn. Hey, he's trying to run now. Don't you run, you punk. Hey! What the hey? What kind of nonsense is that? You don't run from me. You know who I am? I'm like the, uh, I'm like the medieval Rick James. You saw nothing, little man. Keep walking. <laughs> like I had to tell him he was already walking. Alright, so you gotta keep your eyes open in this game. Apparently they just kinda sneak up on you, eh? See that crap pig? We're gonna call you Babe. Just because of the movie. And, uh, I thought that was cool. I do apologize for the dogs barking. If you're wondering why I don't edit that sort of thing out of the videos, it's because one, it can be comedic. Two, um, we try to keep things very... Uh, and this is going to sound hilarious coming from a fictional character. But we do try to keep things within a certain level of normalcy. So, I don't want to be a fake, unrelatable person when that is not who we really are. You know, although I may have a skull mask on, uh, partially. Hey, you! You there! What's going on there, Budget God of War? This is your fault. It is your fault I'm here. I didn't I do didn't that, I didn't do nothing. There, but See? you brought the gold. He's, He's not, not my friend. friend. Now, now keep, keep quiet. quiet. Get me out of here. Get, Get me out of here and I will take revenge on the enforcers. I will help you. You can open the gate from there. Or I will make noise and they will come. I feel like he's putting me in a situation here. Wait, why are you here? What did you do? What father mother did was bad too, but we're getting him out. I don't care what this guy did. The golem is no one to decide what happens to him. This jail came out of nowhere. There we go. I'll use all the help I can get right now, man. My guy is really low on health. Thanks to being jumped by those big people. Okay, so those weird little fruit looking things obviously help. And I can only have five or six bounds. I feel like that's a fair amount of bounds, though. Um. Now, where did I pick this game up? You ask me. Uh, there will be a thing down below. Alright, if they're giving me a hint, I feel like there's a reason. The timing on that cannot be coincidental. That attacks are effective against enemies with shields, and look at what I see right there. Two enemies. My health is in full. Call ally, call ally. We hear any more. They know that. Oh yeah, direct. That is definitely the voice actor for direct. Skyrim. I mean, what? How would I know that? No, but really, that's friggin' direct. Am I wrong? Somebody in the comments tell me if that's him. It sounds like that, at least, right? That guy did. Am I wrong there? It was on the man. I just gave a little LU to that, son. Oh, look at that. We like to call that one the little... Oh, I don't even got a good name for it. I'm just whooping butt here. Man, this game is... Look at that little dude. I feel like that's the toughest one, though. You know, you gotta watch some short dudes, man. You never know. Those are the safety ones, right? No offense to short people. I'm just saying, you guys are a lot tougher than you look. Now, aren't you? You know that, though. You know what I'm talking about, baby? Everybody's always like, oh yeah, yeah, the short guy's easy to beat up, yeah? You think so? You know what's the case. I'm giving you some good life advice. Believe me on that. Um, we got a friend who's pretty short, and that dude you do not want to tangle with. Um, he, he's, he's outright like, I'll mess you up, man. So, never ever judge a book by its cover, kids. And do yourself a favor, and just try not to be a giant douchebag in the first place, and then you don't gotta worry about having to fight so much to begin with. In this game, you're fighting for freedom, so that's part of the plot, so I can get that. Uh, I can be cool with that. Um, obviously in real life, my one rule is to treat people uh, decently, and if they treat me decently good, and if they don't, and I just think that time for that nonsense, and you go on with your life, and that's it. And, uh, it's worked out pretty well so far. Anyways, back to the game. Steeped in fantasy and lore and a lot of butt-kicking. 
Um, this really drops you right into the action right off the bat. Uh, you don't need to know a ton about it. Even without knowing the exact lore entirely before I even looked at this, I knew I wanted to play it, and after getting that little letter from the dude who, uh, who, who helped make this, which, by the way, again, I was very impressed that they wrote that quickly. Um, studios usually get pretty busy, so devs usually don't have the time to answer every single email in a matter of hours or even days. Um, I've had a few devs I have spoken to um, who still I haven't gotten a response from. Maybe they don't take us serious, I don't know. You guys can help change that, though. Uh, the more we grow with the channel, the more we will probably be taken a little more seriously with some of the Let's Plays that uh, we get to do. If you're a studio and you would like us to do a Let's Play of your game, just email us, man. It's that easy. Or look us up on Steam, you will see us. So, take your pick, one or the other. I feel like I need to make a Ninja Vanish decision for me. Oh god, what did I do? Put the chain back. Put the chain, it's better with the chain. I am now not underestimating the chain weapon, I just want to point it out to you. It's such a brutal hit. He is a jerk, that guy. He's gotta go. And having this nonsense. Hit him in the stomach. Oh, God. I got dropped. I got dropped hardcore. Um, anyways, I think we're gonna stop it here. That's pretty good for a first. Uh, game, I'd say, of this. Uh, really enjoyed it. Like I said, you look around, a lot of fun. Very deeply steeped in mythos, which I dig. So, yeah, this is gonna be it for this. This was Xenoclash, by the way, guys. Click the link in the description to check it out yourself, and I hope you guys enjoyed, man. Thank you very much. Uh, I got some more stuff coming up. We actually had one more Let's Play that we did, recorded, uh, that didn't make it because it was just too hectic. Um, the quality of the video turned out really, really crummy. The audio was garbage. I don't know what happened, but something in the converting process didn't go well, so it was removed. But uh, that game for now shall remain down the road. We're going to redo a Let's Play of it and add it. So. Those of you who know what, what I'm talking about, and the reason I don't bring it up is because I don't like to take much away from other games I'm playing. I'll mention some here and there, upcoming things we're doing, but whatever. Um, anyways, so yes, if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe, pass these along to your friends. Um, we are trying to grow, uh, so all the help you fans can give us, the better. And the feedback, man, don't be afraid, leave a comment. Leave 10 comments, leave 20, I don't care, just comment. Let us know which ones you liked, let us know which ones you didn't like, um, things you'd like to see more of. Obviously, the one thing I'm getting bar just barraged with is, where is Gary, where we want the puppet, we have a promised puppet. You'll get lots of puppet, trust me. Um, we're working on some pretty neat little surprises for you guys too, and down the road you're going to be like, okay, now there's too much puppet, tone it down with the puppet, so trust me. Um, Anyway, so definitely like, subscribe, and share this with your friends, you know. Uh, pass the word around about these kooky people that are doing different sorts of Let's Plays. Um, we're not featuring just paid games, by the way. We'll be featuring some freeware games, some um, modded games, like Brutal Doom is the one we're thinking of doing. Um, which lives up to the name, by the way. It is insanely bloody. Um, we're trying to stay within YouTube guidelines, though. We keep all of our videos, ones we don't need to age restrict. That is one thing we're looking for. Um, some of them, some games, we have had to cancel out doing Let's Plays of because of that, but let us know in the comments, you know, your thoughts on that sort of thing down the road. Um, anyways. Uh, I have been Bones. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope I made you laugh today. If I did, awesome. I enjoy that. If you enjoyed the video and spending time with us today, make sure you click the play all button and watch the rest of our Let's Plays. There's uh, easily over an hour's worth of content by now, I'm sure, so enjoy. Thank you very much.